What's good, neighborhood? <clears throat> please, please, please. Do not mind that I actually am talking with my mouth full of food. Them Dairy Queen burgers hit a little different, especially after a long day of work. But today was actually an interesting day because, see, one of the things that I mentioned that actually helped get me into the job that I'm in right now is that I enjoy data entry, right? Sit me down, sit me down in front of a computer, give me like a spreadsheet to fill out, or give me web forms to like, you know, plug information into in order to get stuff going in our system. And I will just hyper focus on it, and I'm off to the races, right? Just give me a basic set of rules as far as how to make sure I get this done right, and then I will get to it. I will focus on that. I will get the job done, and I will get it done well and accurately. Today, I actually got the chance to demonstrate just that. And it was probably one of the most stress-free days that I have had on the job yet. It was fantastic. But all things considered, it was still a pretty long eight hours, so, you know... After a while, I just had to, you know, make a run to DQ, grab me a grab me a couple burgers, and just chill for about an hour or so. And now we're back, and we're going to be popping out some more Warframe. It's the next alphabet challenge. We are on the letter K, and there are two K Warframes in the game. Korra and Kalervo. I bet you can probably guess which one I'm going to be using based on the title of the stream. But with that being said, if you want to check out just what kind of damage you can do with this particular Warframe, then y'all know what to do. Pull up a chair and kick up your feet. Just remember to leave your shoes at the front door so we don't get any footprints on the tile, the carpet, or the furniture. And uh, now that I've got a uh, belly full of <laughs> now that I've got a belly full of burger, it's game time. Hmm. I still need to do some digging into some of the new mods that have been added to the game too. I gotta find I gotta find that list of what they are. Cause I know there was a couple in there that I really wanted to like you know dig into using to see just how they see just how they change up the game. Welcome friends! Yo, Precision Intensify is wild. I mean, it is legitimately one of those things where if your Warframe's, like, if the big part of your Warframe's kit is their fourth ability, and you hook them up with Precision Intensify, you are going to get to go absolutely mad. Okay, wait, I have five mutagen masses right now. That means... There's a couple things I might be able to build right now. <gasps> the hardest, one of the hardest weapons to grind for in the game, and I finally have it after six years! Six freaking years! Let's go! When in Cetus, do not drink the kabuchi. You, you are, are incapable of producing, producing the hydraulic effort required to unstick your tongue from the roof of your mouth the following morning. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next up would be the Parasist, if I've got if I can get enough mutagen masses for that. Let's see, the Phage is at four. Hmm. But nah, I had to go ahead and start building the Hema. That, that thing needed to finally see completion.
How hard is it to grind for? Well. Aside from the fact that the Hema is a dojo weapon, which, if you're not in a clan, you're not going to have a very, uh... You're not going to have much access to the dojo. Dang it. I'm trying to get it to show me the blueprint. Also, I still need to switch my warframes out. Hang on. Let me do that. We will also change Calervo out for the Boar Prime. Because why not? off his neck. Operator, no! Have you lost your mind? Ah! How does one acquire Calervo? Simple answer? You'll find him in the Deviri Tenno, Paradox. The balance of power continues to shift. Navigation is marked with new invasions. Well, in the in the Deviri Paradox, as you go through the different uh, as you go through the paradox, there's gonna be like I wanna say three of the different emotional phases. Yeah, it's it's the only way. His like his main quest is mostly, you know, there in Duveri. You get his components from the uh you get his components from the vendor there. And uh honestly, at, after a certain point after a certain point the Duveri the Duveri content can be relatively easy to punch through. But yeah, I believe Anger and I think Envy, those are like two of the spirals that you need to go through. But here's the thing. If you do the lone story and basically do enough missions, I think it's like five or six missions, then you'll actually notice that Calervo's Island that Calorvo's hold shows up on the map. And then you can go there 
and deal with the quest there, which actually involves basically breaking Calervo out of prison and fighting him. Yeah, Jagos, you're not wrong. You know, start starts off kind of difficult, but then, you know, as you get more gear, you know, get to, like, putting your build together, you know, things open up. Yeah, yep, yeah, you basically, you meet him at Waffle House. <laughs> What's the what's the build that I got on him so far? Uh, Wrathful Advance, Recompense, Collective Curse, and Storm of Luka. Okay, that's that seems like a basic one. Oh my God! I could have swore I had a build where I actually modified his uh, where I actually gave him something. I feel like, if anything, the only, the only one of his moves that I might swap out for a Helmuth replacement would be Collective Curse. Maybe. Oh, that's right. Yo! Kill... The, the 2013 Killer Instinct is... It is a great, great game. It very much lives up to the originals. Okay, so what's going on? What's up with this alert? Yeah, I'm not going to lie, like... Now that Killer Instinct is basically, I guess, in its finished state, it's a great time Eliminate to pick it up. You've got all threats. that content, not just to work with, but to also unlock. This one's pistols only.
And I forgot that they nerfed the Deconstructor Prime's little discus shots. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, at first it's... Oh, look! I got silence! I, I put a silencer on my pistol! Like, I put a silencer on my pistol mod. It's fine. I'm gonna play all stealthy. But... Nowadays, it's just, I want problems! It's like, I don't want peace! I want problems! Always! Keep going. Nobody knows you're here. I mean, come on, when you're introduced to weapons like the freaking Kuva Brahma. I mean, how how do you get how do you get equipped with a bow that launches cluster bomb arrows and not want problems always? And good lord, don't even get me started on the terror that is the Boar Prime. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Broken their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. Find extraction. Well, I guess that's it. The path to greatness is walked one step <laughs> at a time. Okay, a boar prime is. Wait, Jagos. You haven't caught the last couple Warframe streams I've played, have you? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, no worries. I, I mostly ask because, well. They made the Boar Prime even worse. Mm. Oh man, I feel that.
Operator, a communication awaits your attention. Ordis has been counting stars, Operator. All accounted for. Saddle up! Okay, so when I say they made the Boar Prime even worse. Oh, that uh, that gift of the Lotus, I believe, is one of the uh, anniversary gifts. Tenocon's just around the corner. It hasn't happened yet. But dude, Jacobs, when I when I say they made the board prime even worse, here is what I mean. They gave it one of the. It was like they gave it one of the, uh, you know, one of the Incarnon evolutions, man. Headshots charge Incarnon transmutation. Alt fire transmutates. So imagine turning the Boar Prime from a Chicago typewriter type shotgun. Oh, it, it doesn't quite make sense? Allow me to demonstrate. Yes, you can evolve it. Like, certain web... Okay, basically, the, the Incarnon system is pretty much taking, like, you know, older weapons and hooking them up with Your job void is to adapters, distract the enemy while which a fellow basically evolve and the ship them. for much needed supplies. And only certain ones have it. Make your presence known. Only certain ones have it, like the uh, like the War Prime, for example. They have just shut down all. So systems. let me let me get a few headshots with this shotgun. support capsules your way. And you see the little gauge that's like right down here under the crosshairs? Now, as I get headshots, that gauge fills up, right? The thing about the boar and the boar prime is that it it takes into account headshots per pellet. So if I run up on, say, an Eximus unit, you know, one of those elites, I can stand in its face, boom, 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 maybe like two, three pulls of the trigger, and I will get that thing filled. And then it will proceed to get worse.
I've delivered a life support capsule to the area. Activating it will buy you more time. Got it. How much craziness have they unleashed on the world? Mm, maybe not enough. Another life support capsule is now available. There we go, 24. And some change. Yeah! No, that's... That's basically it. It feels like... It feels like Digital Extremes done took the limiter off and now started having fun with it. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me fit... Let me finish building up this, uh, this evolution gauge for the Boar Prime. Hold on. Our operative is making progress. This will help our cause. When you need it, extraction is ready. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, you notice how I was just doing, you know, them, you know, them shotgun blasts, right? Triggered the evolution, and now... It's a rapid-fire laser beam. It's a rapid-fire laser rifle where the laser actually, like, once it pings one enemy... It, like, links to another until you're basically, like, hitting three enemies at once with the freaking proton pack. Awesome straight Ghostbusters shit.
Needless to say, I've been able to take down Steel Path Acolytes Life with this thing, no has problem. Been Making waves, dreamers. I can feel it. Let's just say using this gun has made me very fond of headshots. You see how literally all I have to do is just squeeze the trigger, sweep the camera, and anything in whatever general direction I'm pointing at is getting deleted. looking for a weapon that provides the ultimate in suppressive fire Core prime is it and I was turned on to it because you know one of the what you call it a couple streams back Uh, a couple streams back, you know, one of the, you know, another one of the old, another one of the Warframe old heads came in, right? Like, you know, a guy who was, you know, a guy who, he, he rolled up with an Excalibur Prime. That's how long he's been playing. And I'm running through, doing my thing, and he's like, hey, have you got that Boar Prime yet? And I'm like, no, I don't. He says, let me fix that for you. couple trades and a couple and it's like a couple trades and a couple hundred platinum later I've got the components I've rushed the construction and I'm like this shotgun is cool as fuck Rat -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> and my whole life changed And then after preaching the good gospel of the Boar Prime, he's like, you haven't got the Incarnon Activator for it yet, do you? No. No, I don't. Let me fix that for you. A couple trades for some platinum and a trip to Cavalero shop later. One Boar Prime Activator hooked it's like one boar incarnon activator hooked up on the boar prime. And then he says, Go go do a survival run. Point it at the face of an Eximus. I'm like, okay. I pulled the trigger once. The gauge is damn near two thirds full. 
I pull the trigger a second time. Gage is full, and he says, Go hog wild. rat tat 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 And my life had changed yet again. Nintendo. Come to scavenge and oh, 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 Captain, Captain Vore wants to show up and start talking smack. Watch, I don't even have the gauge full. I don't even have the gauge full, but I'm gonna... Wait, wait for me to bust out the activator real quick. Only I, know the true Where are you, Vor? We need to talk. Oh, wait, I got the gauge full. Hold up, I heard him. Okay. They could not do this with Captain Vore's on the field, right? Look. I will teach as soon as I get it. Dead. Dead. Done. Deal. My guy had nothing left in the tank. And I cannot be destroyed. Energy you may be, but with energy I cut you down. Okay, now, there's a particular reason that I'm using this weapon. <laughs> but yeah, there's a particular reason that I'm using this weapon with Kalerva, right? And it goes back to his abilities. His one is basically a teleport where when he teleports, you know, he's winding up a heavy attack with whatever melee weapon he's using. So, as soon as he finishes the teleport, boop! The weapon that I'm using with him, that, that's, that Mason Shield set, the heavy attack throws an energy replica of the shield. So that means I do something like uh, this, and it'll send that energy disc flying around. And now I am suddenly curious as to what it'll look like. If I hook him up with a melee weapon that has an Incarnon on it, like say, Dual Icker.
mysteries abound. Additional life support has arrived. Life support activated. Oh my god, if Ash had a move like Wrathful Advance, he'd be so freaking OP. Wait a minute. I could give Ash Wrathful Advance. If I built or bought another Corvo, I could... Why'd y'all have to give me that idea? War crime, I mean Warframe, I mean War Crime Science. <laughs> the longer you fight, the more successful we will be. Okay, which this that's the way to the exit. I've delivered another life support capsule. Life support activated. Otis wonders 
Why is he I think... here? <laughs> Who do you suppose is everyone has to be somewhere? I think... Like, all they really did was just, like... You know, use it to influence certain dialogue during certain scenes. But I feel I feel like there's supposed to have been more of a mechanic behind it. I don't know, maybe like how it influences stats on certain weapons. Firstly, it's time to cook. <clears throat> Do I have him use larva? I want to do something where <clears throat> I want to do something where I don't know maybe I could like get a grouping ability for Calervo like in a snare or larva or condemn Have him use that to pull in enemies. And then drop the storm of knives. To basically beef up his combo counter to such stupid heights. That the damage off of Wrathful Advance just goes even more berserko. Hmm. Yeah, that could work. That could work. Huh. Okay, hold up. Time to do some experimenting here. Larva's 25, and Snare 50. Condemn 25, Condemn gives shields, but Calervo doesn't use shields. Let's start with that. Put Larva over Collective Curse on Configuration <laughs> And how about this? We'll go ahead and take our first intermission early because I need to use the restroom. But then when we come back, we're going to do a little bit of theory crafting with Calervo. We're going to get stupid. 
and I get the feeling I'm gonna like where I'm going with this, but y'all know the drill. Get up, stretch, grab yourself something to drink, maybe a little bite to eat. You know, you know how we do it. Grab a snack, but come right back. We got more Warframe coming your way, so don't go away. And also, Jagos, seeing as how you haven't been around for a while, that means I've also got some big news to share with you, my friend. Stick around. <laughs>
My apologies for the long intermission, folks. Like I, I did say that I needed a restroom break. Yeah. But, anywho. It's time for Theory Crafting with Calervo. Otherwise known as Will It Chop. <laughs> so. Don't worry, I am not going to break the challenge. So we are still going to be working with Kulervo. Let's see, for his secondary weapon... Uh, what was it that I had? The Pyrana Prime? That's right. Yeah, that's the one I had. There's the good stuff. We're going to swap out the Gatva. For the boar prime, naturally. Well put together, operator. Now get out there and cut down the and make the lotus proud. Primary Merciless for even more stupid damage. Basically, Yeah, you say, he, he, like, here's here's run over the rocket, rocket launcher. I mean, that's... Part of the reason why I got into using shotguns in the first place was because... You know, the day that I unlocked... The day that I unlocked Mesa Prime... I was using the Sobek. And I was just like, you know what? That makes sense. And then I saw that the Redeemer Prime was a shotgun-based gun blade, and I was like, well, there you go. There's your weapon. Hmm. There we go. It's the serine color. Dagath. <gasps> oh boy, there we go. Or Mirage with the Kuva Brahma. Well, 
Ooh. <clears throat> well, remember what I was saying earlier about the Brahma. A lot. Basically, imagine a great bow. Where the bows that, where the arrows that you fire are tipped with cluster bombs. Now imagine a hall of mirrors plus cluster bombs. I am not entirely sure that I need to really uh, elaborate any further. <laughs> Augmented. I guess we'll energize. <laughs> you always have that one enemy get that gets close. That's where you bust out the nunchucks. Okay, so I'm gonna be working with abilities that heal me. So I want to do something with duration. And corrosive projection as well. Corrosive projection. Hatred and Augur message.
Iron Sage Reactor Equilibrium. Oh! Since I'm working with larva, I might as well, at the very least, hook it up with the mod for it. Okay, let's see how well this works out. Drop into survival on that. Show them what's what. But yeah, Jagos, about that good news that I wanted to tell you. So, uh. Keep the enemy busy while a fellow tunnel operative rents the ship for supplies. Ready? Trigger the alarm. Your boy's getting into voice acting now. They have just. Yep, there is a, uh, what you call it? If you look it up on Twitter, look for, let's see. Basically, it's for the fan dub called Project Time Egg, which is basically a fan dub slash abridged production of Chrono Trigger. And for the limited speaking role that has been set up for Chrono, I got the part. Just shut down all systems. I'm sending life support capsules your way. Support incoming. Wait, is this actually true? Oh, my God, yes, it will. I've delivered a life support capsule to the area. Activating it will buy you more time.
Life support on the way. Another life support capsule. Yep, that's the one. Life support activated. Prepare for life support. Another life support capsule is now available. I don't know, I'm gonna be I am gonna be quite honest with you, man. Like I've I've talked with you know, after talking with some of my other, uh... The raid is off to a successful... I guess I can say my castmates now? But talking with some of my other castmates, you know, and they've mentioned some of the experiences they've had with previous projects. And then seeing how Katie's trying to keep everything organized and, you know, seeing how Katie's, Katie's keeping everything organized and just how she's like... You know, really making sure to keep the communication flowing between between us and her and our co-director. I I gotta say, I feel like I'm um, I feel like I hit the jackpot here. I feel pretty damn lucky that I've got you know such a such a good team to back me to you know such a good team to work with here for my first project. Start. Extraction is available, if you need it. I mean, hell, once I'm done with the stream tonight, I'm gonna jump back in the Discord and start chopping it up with everybody.
life support has been replenished. You mean just from, you know, just from other people not, you know, not doing the basics? Additional life support has arrived. Honestly, that's the one thing. Like that's that's the one thing I'm really trying to avoid with. You know, that's the one thing I'm trying to avoid with Chrono. You know, I mean, this role means a lot. I mean, even though this is just for a fan project, we're doing this for fun. It's an un it's unpaid, but. I know how much this means to a lot of people, and I've already gotten questions on Twitter, you know, basically going the whole route of, like, you know, but Chrono's a silent protagonist. How is, how is Chrono supposed to have lines? And, like, he, he does have a few, like, maybe two or three, you know, just in the original Super NES game. But since we're kind of fleshing things out a little bit more with the project, you know, it's going to be more like, uh, well, here's here's the perfect example, and one that I, an example that I used when I was actually, you know, doing my audition for Chrono in the first place. You remember how the protagonists are set up in God Eater, right? And yeah, there was that ROM hack. But you know how in God Eater, you know, how you basically still have, you basically still have, you know, something of a silent protagonist that you create as your player character. But, you know, you've got, you know, you still have to choose a voice because you still have, you know, a lot of the battle grunts and sounds. And, oh, you've never... I would highly recommend this series. Like, if if you're looking for something like Monster Hunter, but a little bit more fast-paced, a little more arcade style, a lot of bit more anime, God Eater is definitely going to be your go-to. Like, God, God Eater was what got me into Monster Hunter. But, what you call it? But yeah, in God Eater, you know, you still have a choose you still have to choose a voice for your character. Because, you know, again, there's you know, there's the battle grunts and sounds, you know, certain battle cries, certain call outs for like special moves. But also, with each game, there is at least one major, really important scene where your character actually speaks, like has a set of dialogue lines, and when it hits, it is just it's like the perfect punctuation to all the action leading up to that. You know, it's something really cool. And I thought, what if, what if we were to actually take that inspiration into Chrono Trigger? 
So I actually did wind up, you know, recording a few, you know, recording a few battle grunts, recording a few, you know, ad-libbing a few custom lines for, you know, certain, you know, like certain special moves that Chrono has. And I think I got really lucky because I think I may have genuinely impressed Katie with coming up with those custom lines. Which I think ultimately led to them picking me for the role. Yo! Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Saints Row! Saints Row did the exact same thing in 2, 3, and 4. Well, your character talked a good deal more in 4, but especially in 2 and 3. The longer you fight, the more successful Honestly, you will be. I feel like Volition Volition couldn't get out of GTA Shadow until like Volition really didn't get out of GTA Shadow until three. And then they couldn't get out of their own way. Oh, you have God Eater 3? I would definitely suggest starting with one. And not just to, you know, not, not just because it's a good idea to start from the beginning and, you know, get, you know, get an idea of, you know, the, the world as it's established in God Eater. But, you know, each of the games has something of a unique take on even its own core game. It's, it's really nice to pick up. It's really nice to pick up and play. The monster designs are great. Okay, so Larva is not really doing much. Let me go on and get at it. Look at them. Oh, they hang on. Come to this place when they know they are not destroyed. My brothers, did I not tell of this day? Did I not prophesize this moment? Where 
where are you? Come on, boy, where'd you go? Oh. Now I will stop them. Now I am shamed. Move forward through the energy of the Alice's key. Forever bound to that one. Where'd you go for? Oh, there you go. Five seconds Another of shred. life support capsule Dust. is now available. You're cut me down, but still I speak. I am energy, and I cannot be destroyed. Hey, it ain't gonna stop me from trying. Life support has been replenished. I've delivered another life support capsule. We will all share in this bounty. Hold out as long as you can. And instant transmission. Hey, what's up, Andre? Actually, I was just telling Jagos about what was going on with, uh, you know, with Project Time Egg. And I was talking to him about it, and, you know, we were discussing, we were discussing how I was already getting questions from people about how, you know, how exactly I'm going to have a voice role as Chrono when he's a mostly silent protagonist. And the example that I came up with was... You know, you're the player characters in God Eater. How they're silent protagonists, but, you know, they still have their battle cries, you know, their special move callouts, and that one scene, which is usually near the end of the game, where they actually have, like, a few spoken lines of dialogue, like, for impact. Okay, hour 44, yeah. change out of lava. Let's change lava for something like and snare. Pop it out for collective curse. Yeah, not to try and give away too much about what's going on with production right now, but if lost, you know, but we are actually working on like a full-on, a full-on trailer to showcase all the voice talent that we've got. And man, I'm telling you, but at least you will not be dead. I'm telling you, some of the, like all of the auditions were really fucking good. 
all of the auditions were good. And the people that the people that were cast especially for all the other roles like dog. I don't know how I don't know how this man does it, but wait wait until you guys hear Ozzy and especially Frog. I swear to God, when y'all, when you guys hear the voice talent that we got for Ozzy and Frog, you, you will legitimately think there may not be anyone else who could do those voices. Like there may not be anyone else out there who can do these characters justice quite like these two gents. I'm telling you. You know it. Well put together, Operator. Now get out there and... Cut down the... And make the Lotus proud. Yeah, on honestly. Honestly, I just feel really damn fortunate. Okay, we definitely want to put, we definitely want to polarize, uh, oh, before we do that, let me take a screenshot of this one, and let me take a screenshot of this one, so we definitely want to polarize what we've got down here. Lower right. If we apply that there. Oh shit, we still got everything intact. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, there were over 300 total. There were over 300, uh, over 300 separate auditions. And 20 of those auditions were for Chrono alone, and all of them sounded really good. So it just... It just fucking it 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 blew my mind that it, it still blows my mind that out of out of all that you know I I got picked I swung for the fences I I made a complete ass out of myself and here we are <laughs> well I feel like I made a complete ass out of myself but I mean it's like you know I just said. I literally said, fuck it, we ball, and just went for it. Let's make this really interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Actually, there's there's a few T-shirts I want to make. I want to like really sit down and work on some designs for like some of my favorite little taglines for the stream, like like eat your dinner. You know, eat your dinner. Fuck it, we ball. See, the, you know, the classic what's good neighborhood. So many excellent lines, so many just nice little bits of, you know, humor and good vibes that have come from just street and the little, the little community that we got put together right here, you know? Do it. Enter the conduit now. Mm -hmm. I'm a coming, boss. <laughs> Big on water, but yo, know, stay hydrated. Big on water, but not short on thirst. <laughs> yo, and and the picture on the shirt has to be something like Marisa holding a water bottle, because why not? I was about to say wet T-shirt contest, Marisa, but I guess we got to keep it, you know, somewhere close to rated T for T. What happened to my shotgun? Okay, there we go. Who touched Sasha? Who touched my gun?
Oh, damn. Yo, Infinity Blades, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hang tight. We got you. I'll link up with Mike a little bit later, but that was actually uh, one of my good friends from middle school. Uh, I watched, you know, one, of my, one of my road dogs from back in 96. Okay. For a second, I thought I was legitimately going to wind up falling into, you know, falling into that chasm. Alright, where are they? Where is everybody? Where are all the white women at? Yes, I said. <laughs> 
That's hilarious. Yo, Stephen Hay actually lived in Ireland as a kid? That's crazy. Now I'm trying to imagine emotional damage, but with an Irish accent. I'm trying to imagine it, and it's breaking my brain. To be fair, it's not just about it's not just about the voice though. Chris Judge just has a he is just a really cool person. A new data comes to open. Our experiment moves to a new zone.
That's all he wrote. All right, Chop, get yourself some rest, man. experience unmatched stress. Increase your effort. That was actually really helpful in like grouping enemies together for headshots. Oh wait, I can group enemies together for oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Y'all know exactly where this is going. Hunter, you exceed expectations. Yeah. You are far more exciting and complex than any specimen in my sanctuary. From 1 to 25.
When in Cetus, do not drink the kabuchi. You are incapable of producing the hydraulic effort required to unstick your tongue from the roof of your mouth the following day. Uh, whew, with all that being said, uh, I think I should probably call it a night. I need to get some extra sleep just to, if anything, catch up on the rest that I missed over the course of the week due to, well, early shifts at work. But, I'm going to go ahead and send you off into Sunday with a little bit of positivity from you-know-who. So check this out. Here's our daily reminder. Don't give up because it's not happening fast enough. Give it time. I keep forgetting what this, uh... There's this great quote that I remember hearing a while back, like, you know... Something about, you know, not rushing your, uh... You know, it's, it's, basic, it's basically something that says, you know, whatever it is that you're aiming for, any, you know, whatever goal you're aiming for, just focus on, basically just focus on doing the work, and the goal that you're, re that you're looking to achieve will get there in time. You know, your, you know, your victories are never late. All right? Any achievements that you make, any dreams that you fulfill, any objectives that you accomplish. When it happens, you will know that it's the right time. And you will look back and say, you know what? I'm glad that hit when it did. But, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop off the stream for now, so that way I can, you know, get back to, well, get back to work. <laughs> but the fun kind of work. But I will be seeing y'all tomorrow, and let's see, it's going to be New Week Plus, it's Sunday. Hmm. I guess we can probably hop back into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and try to, you know, try to finish that off. We'll see how it works out. But with that being said, y'all get yourselves some rest. Y'all earned it. I hope y'all have yourselves a fantastic remainder of your weekend. And remember the four big rules. Stay happy. Stay hydrated. Stay gaming. And as always, stay good, neighborhood. I'll catch you tomorrow.